Okay, okay, I get it. You want a tutorial. By the way, hi, it's me. Been quite some time. Just been a little busy doing other things, like hobby projects, learning to code. But yeah, since you guys wanted it, I guess I just decided to make the tutorial for the animated totem. So let's start. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to get four things. You're going to need to get this animation creator, which will compile all our images together. You're going to need to get your Minecraft client. You're going to need to get all your pictures for your totem and this pack.mc meta. I'll leave this and the animation creator both linked into the description for you to get. Okay, so to those wondering how you would get your Minecraft client, I'm going to show you now. What you're going to need to do is you're going to need to press your Windows key and then R. See so at the bottom, it has a little window shut part. You're going to need a percent, update a percent, then click OK. Then you need to find Minecraft, scroll down to versions, and find 1.19, because that will be the version we'll be using in this video. Okay, then you can copy that over to there. Then what you're going to need to do is rename it. To dot zip, not just zip, zip. If you don't have it there, what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to go into see more options, and then go view and find hide extensions for known file types. It will then show the dot zip. Then you can get this, you can extract it. This usually takes quite some time, so I'll skip ahead to when it's done. Okay, now that's done, you can open this. If you want, you can you can do whatever you want with this. I don't really care what you do with it. But this, this is what we need. You can delete just about all of this. You don't have to delete this, but I recommend it, as it just helps remove a lot of junk. What we need to keep is the assets. This will take a bit, so I'll have that around in the background. So. Right. Assets, delete these two as well. Minecraft, you can do it like this. Delete all this, as none of it is needed. We just need the textures for the totem. Which, even also, you can also just delete these as well. So, you get into there. As all it's doing is changing the totem. Plus, you can also, if you want to, you can delete all these. I can't be bothered to do that right now, so I'll just leave them in there. Alright, now once you've done that, you can get all of your images for your totems, you can put them into this thing. Sometimes when you're adding it, it doesn't add correctly. Uh, desktop, totem tutorial. Now you hold shift and just click at the bottom to select all of the images. And then open. Now when I play it, they're all janky and they don't work properly. So what you need to do is you need to go through and you need to align all of your textures with it. I'm going to quickly do that right now and I'll skip to also when this is done. Okay. Now as you can see I have the animation working all smoothly. Let me stop. Depending on what kind of graphics your totem is, you can do 12 bit, 30, 64, you can do whatever this. I've done 16 bit as that's what mine is, and then you just set the speed. Set it to however you feel is cool for your totem, or whatever you're doing. The more you do, the slower it takes. I usually just stick with one. Then I'm going two. This keeps it nice and smooth and it works well. Then what you're going to want to do is export. You can just choose to have this go to your desktop or just have it go to the folder. And save up, oh, file name. Okay, so you're going to need to do total, let's go, let's let's go, let's go, um, dying, dot, no, no, just do total of undying. And save. 
that you'll see this really long texture. Practically, um, practically this is a sprite and it slides all the way down there. You do also want to keep this as this tells it, it the game it's an animation and to slide through. Then what you can do is you can go back to your folder here, assets, Minecraft, textures, item, and pretty much just copy and paste these two into there. So I'll do that right now. And then just do replace the file. If you need to. Then also if you wish, you can change the name of this to whatever you feel like. Doesn't really matter. It's your texture pack now. By the way, zip it. You it just makes it easier to get a zip file. Editing couscous here. I zipped the file wrong. What you need to do is go inside of the folder and highlight the assets and the pack.mc meta and then zip it like that and then call it what you want. Don't just zip, grab the folder from like the outside and then zip it as it won't do it correctly and the game won't register. By the way, make sure to put the pack.mc meta file into the actual folder. Have it alongside assets, don't have it inside of assets. Yes, texture. Okay, now you have two ways of putting your texture packs into your game. You can do Windows R and go into here, find textures, no resource packs, sorry, they're called resource packs, I forgot about that. And then you can just put it in there. You can also do this other one where you go into the game and actually do it yourself, like inputting it via the, which I'll show you that now. Okay, you can go into resource packs, open pack folder, and drag it in there. Hopefully it will work now, I'll actually just save that one, put it in this. As you can see now, we have a full totem with complete animation, similar to the gradient of my skin, which is quite nice. Now this video helped you, I hope, I hope it did. Now you have a good day, enjoy your custom totems, as I do enjoy mine.